Hi, Colleen. My name is Felix. Hi. I'll be health coaching today. Um, how's it going? Um, it is going well, actually. Pretty excited. That's good. That's good. So, uh, what brings you in today? What do you want to talk about? About what kind of change? Uh, uh, so, I have recently decided that I'm actually going to move to Las Vegas. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, it's a it's a bit of a big change, but I'm kind of um, kind of ready to move. I've moved before out of Chicago, okay. and for whatever reason, I'm just ready to move again. Okay. I just uh, don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. Okay, <laughs> so what's that reason that, uh, what's the main thing that makes you want to move there to Las Vegas? So, from my understanding, the rental properties that you can get out there are a lot cheaper than the ones that are out here, which I feel like then I could save, so that way maybe then I can potentially move back to Chicago, because right now... Um, I can't sell my place, which is a little hard, and and I don't want to keep paying for something that I'm not even utilizing all the rooms for. Okay, so um, you said you can't sell your place, so I'm assuming you have your own place, or yes, do you? So you rent, or no, you have your own place. So you, I own. You yeah. own your own place. I own okay. my own place, mm -hmm. and you can't find it, like any tenants to rent to, or just you want to get rid of it entirely I would love to get rid of it entirely because if I were to rent mm -hmm. um, then to rent it out to pay for the mortgage to cover it it would be too high um, to the yeah. point in which individuals wouldn't want to pay over two thousand dollars to be in the place okay um, so I think that's where it's kind of a little bit of a hindrance for me because um, we're not utilizing the whole entire place and um, I just, I just feel like it's just better. Okay. Um, but you, you did you ever think about maybe, uh, renting, well, how many rooms is your, your, uh, what kind of building is it? It's a duplex. A duplex. Um, so there's condos up at the top. Okay. Uh, it's two floors. Two floors. And wow. there is three bedrooms and two and a half baths. Oh, wow. So, um, you ever thought about, I guess, renting out each room individually, maybe have in that way you can charge a little bit more for each room and then pay the rent or the mortgage that way? So I I guess that could be an option. Okay. Um, I just also don't trust people. Okay. And so even if a background check tells me that they may not have done anything in their lives, yeah. um, ultimately it really doesn't mean that they haven't done anything in their lives. Okay. So, so, so you're more set on just like get, yeah. getting rid of it completely and then moving. Right. Yes, I want a huge space. I want, you know, somewhere where we can at least venture out, do something a little bit more. I just feel like so conf confined, even though the place is really big. Okay. Um, have you always lived in that in that specific apartment? So I've been in that specific duplex for six years now, five, six years. Initially, I purchased it with my brother, okay. um, who, I mean... I put in probably like 75% and he put in 25% because I think he ultimately knew he wanted to leave and go somewhere else. So it was fine in terms of mortgage payments when he was living there, yes. but just now it's a little bit different. Okay. And, so, um, and he, did he move out? He did. Okay. He, so uh, so it's yeah. only you living there. Like, exactly. And so um, he moved out because of course he wanted a bachelor pad. <laughs> okay. So uh, it makes that, a lot of sense. Yeah, that'll make a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, in terms of moving to Las Vegas, so it's you want to move. You want to move because your apartment's too high. Is that the only reason? Um. So also for the mere fact that I uh, was offered to go out there to fight for a specific camp, which I think I may potentially move towards. I haven't quite like <laughs> determined if I actually really want to do that because I know that in Las Vegas, like the fitness industry is pretty popular there, yeah. and um, I've kind of made my grounds here in Chicago so I feel like I can then ultimately move to somewhere else and try to really you know sp sprout some roots there like in, to improve on your um on your yes. fighting so what kind of fighting do you do <laughs> uh okay so I actually do some cage fighting so oh, it wow. would be <laughs> so <laughs> so mixed martial arts okay. um but as of now I'm practicing three different arts to make sure that uh, my my ultimate uh, fighting game is at its peak performance and so this specific camp is going to offer me the opportunity to train become sponsored and ultimately have fights but I also have to think collectively is that something that um, that my face can handle <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> that's a big thing um, so so do you see fighting being like a potential career for you 
Yes and no, because a lot of the fighters that you see nowadays are like 19, 20, and I'm not. And so I think that if I were to start later, then my career would probably end up being shorter because I wouldn't have the same amount of stamina as I would now. Okay. Even if I were to work really hard at it. I mean, I guess it's a, more of like a mental thing, right? Okay. You can overcome any challenge. I just feel like my body can only handle so much. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. So you, so you want to go ahead and move to uh, Las Vegas, one, because your apartment um, mortgage is too high, and then also you want to continue fighting. But yeah. since you say that's not such a like <laughs> career goal, was there another reason you want to move there? Um, so then I kind of looked a little bit deeper. So I have a friend who uh, actually wanted to move out there initially, um, kind of asked me if I wanted to follow out there before I got asked from the camp. So it ultimately became like a dual thing where okay. she was asking me to move out there with her because she's also trying to save but she actually is wanting to move back to Chicago in two years is roughly her time frame oh, okay. and so for me I don't know if I would ever move back oh so you kind of want to do a permanent move from Chicago yeah or I just actually would love to move then from Las Vegas to California oh, okay <laughs> So ultimately, um, you don't want to be, I guess, grounded here in Chicago, but you have this opportunity to move to uh, Las Vegas yes. which, with another friend of yours. Mm -hmm. well, that seems like a, a fun opportunity. <laughs> um, yeah. So you said you want to move, I guess, to California. Is that like one of your goals in life to potentially have? Um, if I had to close my eyes and really picture it, I want a house on the beach. And I wanted to be able to kind of not live, well, live life day by day, but kind of enjoy the ocean view because okay. I feel like that to me is super soothing and that's kind of like where I really want to be. Okay. Uh, that's, that's actually really cool. Um, I think everyone would agree on that. Uh, <laughs> they would want a house on the beach. Awesome. So if, if, if you think you would be serious about actually making that a reality one day, what's something you would do now? And or well, after you move to, let's say, Las Vegas? Um, so I am a, at a fork in the road because um, I'm already making these changes in terms of fighting. I've already set up two fights already, and um, I have a few competitions coming up, which we've kind of talked about, and it's in the works. Um, but I also feel like fighting can't be my whole entire life because... If I were to get knocked out tomorrow, I would not have a backup plan. Yeah, that's great that I'm working in the fitness industry, but I would love to also work in the medical field too. Oh, okay. So I feel like <clears throat> going in that direction when I looked at PA schools, because that would also be a goal of mine, um, which I think is why I ended up countering that and being like, okay, well, maybe I can fight, make money, and then pay off for school because I know that that can't be the finishing touch the only option okay exactly well that's good that you have a i guess a second or backup plan so would you say that your fighting um is your first priority over your i guess schooling at this um, point in life i would have to say yes because i feel like um in order to financially be stable i would have to fight um and obviously win the fights because if i don't win then i wouldn't get the amount of money that is posted okay that makes a lot of sense okay um, so let's say in terms of, um, your schooling, like you, what you said you want to go into PA school. Yes. Have you made any, any steps in that direction? Um, so yeah, I would be graduating in May. I'm so Congrats. excited for that. Thank you. Um, and so I've kind of looked already into some of the schools in Las Vegas, kind of checked out the pricing to make sure that it's reasonable, which it seems to be. Um, and if rent is, as they say, between like the highest is like eight fifty for a two bedroom or three bedroom place, oh, wow. right? Then I think that overall, with the savings that I have now, and if I can potentially sell this house, then it would be great. It'll be enough to like um, get you, I guess, grounded in Vegas, right? And be able to still pay off my student loans while I'm there. Oh wow! So you kind of have you have it all figured out. Is there anything that's, I guess, holding you back from doing that besides what you've told me already? Um, you mean like holding me back from... From actually uh, committing to... Because it seems like you you want to commit to fighting, but you're <laughs> unnecessarily short for some reason. Um, I know yeah. you said you're fi you feel like your fitness level isn't there, but like you said, you can achieve anything right. if you work towards it. Um, what else do you feel is like holding back from doing that? So I think that watching people um, 
get knocked out is probably one of my biggest fears because I have not gotten knocked out yet. Okay. Um, I just see a lot of the recovery from things like that because it is a concussion. Some people don't come back um, quite the same, and I think that's one of my fears because if I am trying to go in the direction of a PA program, being concussed or not coming back the same probably wouldn't be beneficial because then I couldn't pursue that end goal. Okay, it would actually become a physician assistant. Right. Okay. So you're kind of on the fence of like what you want to do for you know, in terms of career path, but you obviously are making the change to move towards Vegas. Yes. Um, that's that's well, that's really good that you're there. <laughs> it's um, I guess a good situation to be in. So in terms of fighting, are you current current currently like sponsored being paid for any of your fights? Um, so through my coaching staff right now, you ask for sponsors um already. So. But it's not from a specific source, mm -hmm. which that is also something I'd like to change is to have a label on my gear and to say that, that I'm a part of a huge corporation. Okay. Because um, then it would obviously pay for more of my expenses and then I wouldn't have to worry about it. But um, I just feel like the sponsors that I have right now can only afford to, <laughs> to put up so much. So then a portion of it does come out of my pocket, which is also why it's so close to home for me because I feel like I have to win that fight to make up the difference that I had to pay out of my pocket. Okay, so like you don't, so you feel like fighting is sort of like at a losing deficit in a way. Yeah. But it's something you really want to pursue. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> uh, is, is there anyone from, I guess, do you have any family here in Chicago that, um, or what do they think oh. about your fighting? Um, so I have, my entire family is here. I think that that's probably going to be one of the biggest issues is when I tell them that I'm going to be moving to Las Vegas because I haven't <laughs> said anything yet. Um, my parents are not exactly the happiest when it comes down to the idea of me fighting. Um, it's kind of never been something that we've discussed over the dinner table because it was kind of like a one set thing. Like I said what I said and I feel that you should stop and then I obviously didn't listen. And then that's kind of how everything is gauged. My brothers, however, are pretty excited for me. They think it's really cool. They come to my matches. They support, um, and especially my oldest brother. So I think in terms of the rest of the family, everyone kind of is like, okay, she fights, and then that's it. Okay. And, um, does that, I guess, does that affect you in any way, like in a positive or negative way, that only your brothers uh, really yeah. support you in that way? I feel like... Um, I feel like in my parents' eyes that I am somewhat of a failure because I'm pursuing this direction that they don't really approve of. You know, like my oldest brother um, works in finance and he's worked with some top celebrities. And the second oldest brother is a chef. He's worked at multiple five-star restaurants, has the opportunity of a lifetime to open it, his own restaurant. And then I'm the one that chose fighting, which takes a little while to kind of like make that train yeah. actually kick off so I feel like they kind of look at me like what are you doing like why this and not an actual education why not an actual job actual job okay um well I, first off I want to I just want to say that um I don't think you are a failure <laughs> I think it's amazing that you're you fight and uh and still try to pursue a PA um thank you PA <laughs> career um so that's re that's really um I guess disappointing to hear that your parents don't necessarily support you in that way yeah. but at least i guess you can look at it as your your brothers do support you in right. that way so that's good um so saying let's say you, you go ahead and move to las vegas and then you're living there um what are your what's your next step once you've been training there for a while um so as i was talking to a lot of the staff that was there and especially like the administrative office um they've kind of already looked into a lot of the fights following i wouldn't necessarily fight right away like i would if i was training here like we yeah. just couldn't pick up a fight and just go it would be me doing a rigorous camp for at least four months before training training like specifically sparring mm -hmm. um for two months before i'd actually end up getting a fight so that just seems like at least approximately six months of me just specifically training okay. um getting paid to train which is awesome but at the same time i wouldn't necessarily get the big bucks because I wouldn't be posting a fight. Okay. Um, so I guess like once that all, like once you do move there, would you take it like, wait, like a little bit more serious or do you, do you take it that serious now? Um, I would say that I could potentially take it a little more serious now. Okay. I think that because I'm in school, 
I kind of like tuck her back a little bit. Um, and I also just don't want to be walking around like with black guys and things like that and try to explain myself. Okay. Um, but I feel like because then I'll be out there and I don't know anybody, it's going to be absolutely fine. Like it's a clean slate. Okay. And um, I can train super hard and prove myself and show them that um, I'm actually worth being there okay. to be sponsored. That's good. Okay. Um, in terms for like say your PA program and then once you're there, and would that would you still I guess continue following that? So um, yeah, I think that because I've kind of planted my feet in the whole fighting area. Um, I think that would be my financial basis to move into the PA program. Okay. Um, I feel like I couldn't do one without the other because a regular job wouldn't necessarily cut it for me because a lot of it comes from like one fight you can make straight money in you know the thousands and yeah. so that would be helpful to just kick that out and then <laughs> be able to pay for my own education. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, that to me would be the end result because then if I do graduate from PA program, I probably would end up dropping the whole fighting gig. Okay. So maybe. Um, <laughs> so what, would you do both at the same time then the yes. PA program and fighting yeah I know it's a little crazy yeah. um I mean I train right now probably like at 4 a.m so I would train early in the morning and then do the PA program and then maybe train at night which is why I think that my friend being there is going to be a great counterpart because she's all about like we talked about it already and she's like I'm going to be the other half we're going to make it work we'll balance off of each other it's gonna be totally fine. So it should be like your support system there. Yes. That's that's great. Yeah. That's great. Um, so for your PA program, you said it's it's paid. It's a paid PA program. So I have to really get in, right? Okay. I kind of didn't apply to that specific school. Okay. Um, so I really have until I think I have two more months before I have to really apply. I applied <laughs> everywhere in Illinois, <laughs> <laughs> not thinking that I was potentially gonna to move to Las Vegas. So I kind of have to apply there and see if I get in. If I don't, that's fine because I'm going to have that period of time to kind of really buckle down into the camp. Um, so I'm not like too concerned about it because then I could then roll into the PA program. Okay. I just know that I'm going to finish. Like I know what the end result is going to look like. When it's going to happen, not sure. Okay. So, so you know that you, for sure PA program, you're going to get into it and get it done. Yes. And okay. And then, um, and then focus on more on fighting or would you focus on your PA program at that point once Probably you're done? Focus more on my PA program okay. than the fighting. Yeah, okay, that's good. So, um, going back to moving from here specifically, mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else that's holding you back? So you said like you got into PA programs here in Illinois. Yeah, is that I can see like that might be a huge factor into it. Right. I also you know put the deposits down to oh. start. So, <laughs> um, but I feel like I can't. Put myself in a situation that I'm not going to be happy in. Okay. Because if if I'm not happy in the program, if I'm not going to be happy while I'm living here, and I feel like I'm always going to be in a financial struggle, then I'm always going to feel like I can't excel. Okay. Um, which then, in my mind, ultimately proves that like my parents are right, you know, and I can't have that. You know, so you want <laughs> you want to, I guess, in the end, um, just like, I guess, uh, prove your parents wrong that. True. Okay. <laughs> True, because I don't feel like I'm like that. I feel like I totally uh, went from zero, right? From mm -hmm. just strictly being a person on the mat that was a white belt or um, had never done anything like this before to, to then now ultimately put it all together to fight, I think is um, a big improvement and progress, and there's always more progress to be done. But, okay. you know. Yeah. Well, I, I think that's like a huge um, improvement from going from not knowing how to fight to... <laughs> having actual fights yeah itself. that's different uh, so congrats congratulations on Thanks. that uh one thing i did want to talk about is you said that you you don't want to be here and ultimately not be happy yeah. what do you mean by that exactly um i feel like there's definitely tons of happy moments uh -huh. right and there are always exciting people and it's a lot of fun because there's a lot of people that i know here um but i feel like it just needs to be a clean slate because i feel like Everyone knows exactly what I'm doing, and my parents have this already thought. I feel like if I can just separate by distance mm -hmm. um, from where they are, then I think that I would probably be a lot easier to kind of focus in and hone in on what I'm doing because it's always in the back of my mind as to what I'm doing. Um, like, is it is it something that they want me to do? Okay, so it's more of like um, 
your parents are in, in a way making you unhappy by like I right. guess judging your your next step in your career. Right. I, I I absolutely love them and I know they love me too. So there's yeah. no like questions about it. And I'm not being like a rebel child, but it just is like um, it's just like I I figured that at some point they would support me out of like doing this for six seven years. Okay. Um, so I would just assume that they would be like, that's great. And but I haven't seen that yet, so I feel like I still have to keep trying. Okay, and you don't you, you feel like you shouldn't have to keep trying it at this point, or yeah, I feel like I've done it for so long. One fight to come to would be great, you know. I don't even care if you don't even clap. I just, <laughs> I just need you to be present. I guess would be nice. Okay, so it's it's more of like um, or at least tell me if I'm wrong, but like the way I'm I'm seeing it is that they're in. Like your support system's not completely there, but yeah. if you move to Las or Las Vegas, um, knowing that you'll have your your friend or your coworker to be yeah. your only support system, then you feel like you can fully go towards that goal. Yeah, because she is all about it, and okay. I think that makes a big difference. I think that um, I think that just having her recognize that I want to do it, and her being like, "That's cool." 150 percent i've got my own job if you could just push this and we just meet in the middle then it should be fine okay that's good so um going towards your let's talk about your support system because i feel like it's like a huge component on why you're making these changes yes um so other than i guess your brothers and your uh friend what is your friend's name suji suji other, other than your brothers and suji is there anyone else that you have in your support system uh that would support my fighting yeah you no. <laughs> uh, um, no, I feel like I mean other than like my coaches. Okay, no, that's well, that's good. That's good. You know what that, I mean? Yeah, that, so you're that you're um, I guess centered on who you can you, you know you yeah. can go for if you're ever feeling like you can't um, keep going at some point. But that's that's really good. Yeah. Um, so talking, well, let's go back to like once you move to Las Vegas. Is there at any point where you feel like it will be too much or that you'll have to move back here? Or is that like no? Is that not an option? <laughs> uh, if I had to be really frank about it, it would not be an option. Okay. Um, but I think the point in which I would say that it is ultimately hitting my threshold is if, um, I mean, I guess I'm being evicted. Okay. You know, I think that would probably be like, okay, things have to change. Can't, yeah. can't be here. Um... But then that means other people will be right. Okay, and you don't <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> no. Okay, so like I guess until they I guess physically have to like remove you from <laughs> yeah. your your building, then um. Exactly. So there's basically nothing holding you back from pursuing this. I know. I know. I just I've kind of once um, she asked me, and then the camp and. It's kind of like snowballed to the point in which you know I just now have to just tell people that I'm leaving. And it's not so much really asking. Yeah, it's just like I'm I'm leaving and and gonna travel by car. Okay. Is so? Are you think you're? Are, at what point in your relationship with I guess your family or your parents are you with them? Um, with them having to tell you or change your mind from to stay. Um, I think for my mother. So when I first moved, um, she was probably the most devastated. I mean, like, in tears, like, why are you leaving? And I think that that put a little bit of a damper my first time around. Um, and so I think, like, uh, I guess hurting her feelings, maybe, okay. could potentially slow me down. But I say slow slow me down, not stop not stop me. you. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just feel like unless one of my brothers really kind of sat down and had a conversation with me, okay. I felt that I was going in the wrong direction, would I kind of think that yeah okay you're right okay okay that's good um so so how is your relationship with your mother uh i would say we're close um she's very honest with me and i'm very honest with her and i think that i respect that because i need someone to just be straightforward with me okay. um but i also think that sometimes she wants me to be the specific type of daughter that i've never really been in a sense because like who gets tattoos and who <laughs> fights and so that's kind of like yeah. not their direction or idea that I've kind of grown up with mm -hmm. um so 
you know, but she doesn't really say that it's a terrible thing, and you know, she still is like, I love you. Okay. But I just would hope that like maybe I can so, go in a different direction. Yeah. So your parents, I guess your parents, to like sum it all up, that your parents, um, they do care about you and they yeah. do love you, but. Not necessarily in your career choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I like understand. It's like a respectful, like foundation. Okay. Like, they're never gonna like overstep their boundaries or yell at me. No. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. good. Um, so, uh, there's one more thing I want to talk about. So your, I guess your ultimate goal is to like move towards like the West Coast. So from yes. Vegas, potentially California, in the end goal. Right. Um, so the first step, I guess, you're doing is to move to Las Vegas and you have it seems like you have that all planned out do you have uh, your apartment planned out like when you want to sell it put it on the market and everything so I've already kind of talked to a real estate agent uh, okay. about putting it on the market and just kind of putting all the information together um, but <laughs> the only reason why I'm like ooh, I don't know if I can sell it as fast as I'd want to mm -hmm. is because there's um, a couple that used to live uh, actually adjacent to where I am they have not been able to sell it, and it's been like for now, like what, six months now? Oh, okay. Um, but there's another couple that rents it, but when I talk to him, he's actually paying partial of that payment out of pocket. So I feel like you're then losing money because instead of somebody actually paying the full mortgage payment, you still have to pay out of pocket. It may not be high, but it's still a part of your income that yeah. you never really probably put together and so then the other people who just can't sell it at all it's like yeah. in the mix so it doesn't look very good it looks very like a dim setting but that's why you know you have a real estate agent yeah yeah that <laughs> makes sense so it let's say that um if you weren't able to sell your apartment okay. like what would you do then would you still go ahead and move to vegas i i mean ultimately even if i did move out there it's still technically safe i wouldn't like that option okay um I think I probably would offer it to someone okay. that I would know yeah, and see what they would want to do with it. But okay. it, it needs to be sold. Okay, so honestly. like, okay. So, I, well, that's good that you have that at least a, like a backup plan in case it doesn't, it's not able to be sold. So right. that's good that you have, you have everything like basically set here to where at home. You'll say your goodbyes to everybody yeah. once you, once you graduate. How soon are you looking to move to Vegas? Um, so... Suji and I already talked about it, and it's going to be about midsummer, so roughly right around my birthday, hey. Um, so either uh, the last two weeks of July, I think, is kind of like what we're shooting for. Okay. So we kind of started looking already at places and how we're going to get everything down there, because obviously she has to bring her items too. We both live at two different locations, so it's going to be fairly interesting how we're going to like move our bodies all the way to Las Vegas. Okay, and then you said you, uh, you said you wanted a, a big place once you get there. I want a decent size. I mean, now that it's going to be like, you know, us in there. So I yeah. figured if we could at least have two bedrooms, it's cool. Two to three would yeah. be prime um, in the event we decide. Okay, and then would you, I guess, consider to, like, guess, downgrade to, like, strictly only two if um you, oh. you guys needed to? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't mind. Okay, that's good. That's totally fine. That's good. So, well, um, looks like our time's almost up. Um, it looks like you have everything planned out. You know what you want to do. Yeah. And um, congrats on graduating and then moving to <laughs> Thank Vegas. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>